Hey everyone, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting on episode 2 of season 2 of Riverdale. And yes, I made that more complicated. So it's Riverdale episode 2 of season 2. And so in the last episode, Fred survived the gunshot. Someone attacked Miss Grundy. And Hiram's home. Ooh, I can't wait to find out what happens. Next, so without further ado, we're going to just get into the episode. And before we do that, be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe to my content if you are enjoying the videos. <sighs> okay, so let me know how much harder Season 2, Episode 1 was for you if you had to rewatch it or just watch it now knowing what happened to not only Luke Perry, but also Fred Andrews in season four. How much harder did that make the episode for you? Because it made it so hard for me. So I would love to know your thoughts on that. So now without further ado, let's get into the episode. Seeing the town's ongoing battle against darkness. It's so horrible that someone went right in Death of Diner. Uh, did you see? Did you see what they wrote on my chocolate shop? He doesn't deserve that. It's not his fault. <clears throat> we need a fire extinguisher. What are you doing up? I was going to bring you breakfast. Oh, I appreciate it, son. I got to get you moving around, so... A little early for that, isn't it? Uh, no, I'm good. Yeah, the only thing you need to be worrying about is getting better. Crap. I can take this. How you doing? He's chugging energy drinks. That's not good. No, no, Deputy, I've been leaving messages for the sheriff. I need him to call me back about my dad's case. We should talk about that tonight at dinner. The three of us. Unfortunately, I have plans. To quote that New Yorker cartoon, how about never, Dad? Is never good for you? Ooh. Oh, someone went for the bad guys. That's no, hard. His entire staff quit. He says he's not sure how long we'll be able to keep the doors open. Not even a week. I'll take point on helping the party. I'll do it. <laughs> Anything to get me away from my parents, I'm in. Another B and B team up. <laughs> should really make a video game inside of you guys. I got the chat. I'm off to meet my dad's court-appointed joke of a lawyer at the sheriff's station. I'm gonna come because his wallet is still missing, which means this guy has all of our personal information, including where we live, and we were witnesses. If your guys are out there patrolling the sheriff, let me go with them. I can help. You're not. In Greendale? All right, copy that. Just give me a sec. Let us do our job. Take care. Like, seriously, Archie, you're not a cop. Just talk about the damn deal. First, to review the charges you're facing arson, destruction of evidence, making a false complaint. Archie, you can't go on like this. Whoa, whoa. Hey. You see? You're the one that looks like a dream warrior from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. It's a Park Avenue drama. No, I'm not saying to go see a therapist, Archie, but maybe just call a counselor could help. She's not wrong, Archie. You're okay. Betty, Jughead, what can I help you with? So, the chocolate shop is on the verge of closing, and we want Pop Tate to know that the entire town mistakes. I'm sure we'll get a fair hearing. Mayor yeah, McCoy, you remember this moment. Because this is the moment that you turned your back on both Pop Tate and my father. Ooh, that's not going to go over well at all. Mitch, the clubs. Reggie, what do you know about Jingle Jangle? I know that you shouldn't say it's a lot more on school property. That I can score you some. Who's it for? Me and this. Let me see what I can do. 
Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. What are you up to? What's on your mind, Andrews? Girl troubles? Scabies? Why are you seeking guidance from Miss Burble? You know, maybe you should. These things used to be like I got someone you should meet. Humpty and Dumpty. Just in time to meet our newest recruit. In addition to my duties as a pussy cat. And I just want to say, girls, I'm so excited to work on my moves and be team player as long as I'm in time. <laughs> Cheryl, does that mean you're taking the vixens back from me? Not really, Veronica. Could I ever yours? Cheryl, we were wondering if maybe the vixens would help at an event to save pops. A double cherry on top now. I still want to a slap Cheryl every once in a while. I have some tragic news to share. Miss Grundy, who was a teacher here last semester, was found murdered in her Greendale home last night. Oh my God. I know some of you were students of hers. This news will be difficult to process. So, Archie almost lo loses his father, and now he loses Mrs. Grundy. <sighs> So is this person going after Archie or Fred? That's, that's the question we need to ask ourselves. Thanks, uh, am I supposed to pay you or the friends? I do you a favor. One day, maybe, you do me a favor. That's not something you want, well, goes, Chuckhead. Tell your dad to wear a tie. You're twitching, Archie, which means this must be serious. I think the same person who shot my dad may have murdered Miss Grundy. My, my. We've come a long way since dances at the gym and varsity football. Veronica? Your father didn't write this letter. I did. What? I don't understand. I needed you to testify on your father's behalf. So I wrote this letter. Threatening myself. Not your father. Yeah. She did it for us. To survive. Oh. So we can be a family again. Veronica's not going to accept that. We each other. Downsizing, is it? Hello? Right, hello. Welcome to Thistle House. Mother's in the conservatory. Calling. This is not going to go you in. Thank for sitting down with us. Go oh, in their favor at all. Your family. Okay. The reason. We're here. FP's lawyer thinks that it's the family of the victim. No. Liar. Ah, oh, that's just gonna be Reggie. What the hell are you doing here, Reggie? They're delivering your orders. Clearly, the last thing you need. She lost the Except they are connected. If I say what I'm thinking, you're just gonna think I'm crazy. Probably Mrs. Stoop is right. Probably they're not connected. No, they are 100% connected. Can I offer you can I refuse? 
Who's buying it? Do you even know? Shame's need to say. Chug mug. The liquor store chain? Hey, can I make a request of you, Pop, for a last supper? Anything you want? Gosh. What? Just everything. Pop, have you officially sold the diner? Contract's being drawn up. Do not sign it. Okay? Do not give up, either of you. I can fix this, all right? I, I, I will fix this. And how are you going to fix this, Betty? I want to help my boyfriend's dad. I already told you, and I'm telling you to help FP or or what? Or I might release the video of your father shooting Jason. Try having closure with that out in the world. Damn, Betty. Keep that damn phone track to Sheriff Keller. No, not before I saved a copy on the Jughead's laptop. One click, and the darkest chapter of your family's twisted psychodrama becomes a viral sensation. Are you threatening me? This? No. No, this is fun girl talk. <laughs> oh, Betty, Betty, Betty. You could save a man's life. Think about it. A nice ending to a sad story. If I testify, Betty's got crazy you're eyes. Me that video. And a guarantee that any and all other copies in your possession will be erased. Yeah, my word. Also, I need the vixens for retro night. In light of these. Revelations. I suggest that we take a step back and reevaluate certain aspects of the case. I mean, technically, Cheryl isn't lying in fully. She's just lying about the fact that she heard it, but technically. Is that a win? Mr. Blossom did threaten Jughead and did threaten FP, too. Did threaten FP to, you know, confess to the crime. So. Still early, okay. Mom, why did you come to Glow? Oh, don't be so cynical, Elizabeth. I came to write my next story. Wait, right. two strawberries, one vanilla, and one chocolate croissant. <coughs> No, oh, she got it a little bit wrong. Why the hell did you broadcast on your social media that the Pussycats would be doing a free concert here tonight? I knew that if I asked you, you would have said, No! Mm -hmm. If my mom... Fine. Fine. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, It's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours, I can teach you. But I have to charge my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, It's better than yours, damn right. And they're doing it up on the top of Pops. Interesting. Come on, Archie. You can do it. There you go, Archie. Hey there, Daddy. Hey. Hey, you guys. Total transparency, okay? No, I'm in the spirit of that. I propose that Lodge Industries make a charitable contribution. <laughs> Oh my god, what is his name? Oh! It's Kelly Ripa's husband. What is Kelly Ripa's husband's name? Wow. 
relax, Betty. I'm sure they're just here to enjoy Pop's world-class burgers and service. Hark! Ugh. We two are like chimps in captivity, brooding and picking mice on each other. Mark the same. Mark and No, yes. Yes. Thank God I'm on my feet. Cheryl. Thank you. What do you promise me? Boo! I mentioned Boos. I've got a jingle to Ooh, Alice might have a new story. I gotta put her on the spot. It's thanks to this young lady here that Pops gets to stay open tonight, tomorrow, as long as you folks keep coming. Yay. She saved Pops. Thanks also to the Lodge family for a donation they just made that gives us a little cushion to weather any storm that might. Why should I introduce sure. myself to you, Dad? You faced enough dragons for one day. Next time, our chickens. So I guess tonight is a win for the two guys. A rare win, mm -hmm. but yes. Nice to you, Betty. Okay. I'm here with you guys. So yeah, I think so. So does he think it was I, what's his I'm face? For you. I forget his name, but a video of Daddy and Jason. Okay. Give me the forming address. I'll try to track one down, sir. Thank you, Andre. Well, he got rid of Smithers. She's not inclined to use this as a real second chance, well, is she? You went to see Penny Peabody? You asked her for help? Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah, well, we didn't have a choice. Why is something wrong? Did you? Did you pay her? No, she said it was a favor. Don't okay, listen to me. Do not contact her again. If she reaches out, don't respond. You do not want to be in bed with a snake charmer. Why? Yeah. I knew that wasn't going to end well either. I knew that was gonna there was gonna be issues with that. You do know that several drug deals went down here tonight. What? And if you think that Hiram Lodge, Riverdale's answer to Scarface, helped pop tape for altruistic reasons, I have a bridge to sell you. No. The serpents have now officially crossed the tracks and have a toehold on the north side, so congratulations, Betty. You're almost single-handedly responsible for giving crime a haven in Riverdale. <sighs> Oh, I want to smack you again, and Alice. Far from the glow of Pop's neon sign, on Sweetwater Bridge, Archie and Jasper. Jasper. Well, oh. Dalton's giving him something. Well, something, something. I thought he thought Dalton might have done something. Not crazy. The guy's still out there. It's just for protection. Charge. Whatever you say. That is strange. What's so gonna happen? You have to say that. You have to make up every stitch. You got to make up every stitch. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> what is going on? And who is killing all these people? Like... And 
Why them? Moose and the other person who I feel like we haven't seen before. <laughs> or not that much. Anyways, I feel like they have no connection to Archie, so very curious to know what this is all about. So maybe it's not all about Archie. I just... So confused. Very, very confused. But I do look forward to seeing what happens next. So if you are enjoying this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you are enjoying my content, please be sure to subscribe. And as always, comment down below. And until next time, bye guys.